Hi there. Welcome to Kinda Keto with Donna. I'm Donna. Uh, on my videos, I do cooking videos. I do restaurant reviews of low carb items that we can have. Some suggestions for you. Words of encouragement, cooking tips, budgeting tips. So join me. In today's video, I'm going to have a me day. You ever have one of those? Uh, where I'm going to go out for breakfast. I'll take you along with me. I'm going to visit my friend Kristen. I'm going to do some errands. You know, go to Wal go to Walmart, go to Bed Bath and Beyond, go around looking for some fabric for sewing, uh, and then just you know kind of have a little little fun day for myself, listen to music in the car, that kind of thing. So come along with me. I'll see you soon at the restaurant. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, we have reached our destination. I don't know if you can see it there. It's called Another Broken Egg Cafe. And it's just a really fun, quirky little place that has some just awesome food here, even for us. So let's go inside and see what we can find. Okay, we are here. We are at our destination. A place called Another Broken Egg Cafe. And this is a special treat type of breakfast. Okay, just an adorable little place. She just renovated. It's really cute. Great food. On the weekend, and this is a Wednesday, it looks like it's empty, but believe me, on the weekends, this place is mob. You can't, what do you got here? You can't buy happiness, but you can buy brunch, and that's basically the same thing. <laughs> that's cute. They also have a full bar and Bloody Mary's on Sundays. And this is in Asheville, North Carolina. Okay, so here's a look at the menu. Ooh, seasonal selections, but things uh, we could have pass on. Rum cake, French toast, oh boy. But anyway, brunch specialties, a lot of really cool Benedicts. I've had Eggs Benedict and just taken the English muffin out. <laughs> I've done that on vacation before. So you could consider a Benedict if you just take off the, the uh, English muffin. We also have this great Mardi Gras omelette. So I just realized I have a shadow here. Which I have had before. With crawfish, shrimp, andouille, peppers, and a tomato hollandaise. That is really good. Uh, regular, they're definitely known for their biscuits, which we are going to skip. And then, but usually I come here for are these wonderful omelets. Look at this Hey Lucy omelet. Chorizo, onions, and green chilies, cheddar jack, avocado. Oh, that's awesome. Supreme omelets, sausage, bacon, onion, yummy. And. I said this is going to be a special breakfast, and it's going to be special because I'm getting a lobster and brie omelet, cream cheese filled omelet with the brie cheese, champagne butter, sauteed lobster. Oh yeah! Since I've been here last, they had a couple of new things here. Uh, power omelet, that's egg whites. We don't want that. Got a skinny omelet with goat cheese, asparagus, roasted red pepper, roasted garlic cloves. Ooh, yummy. And a shrimp benny. You just take the focaccia off. You just, just put it on a plate. Uh, that's an option too. Then we have some lunch items as well. Okay, for your side options, you're going to obviously pick up your potatoes, but here they have wonderful fruit. So you get fruit as a side. Um, and they have fresh fruit here, and I can just do berries, which is great. And in other places, you can do sliced tomatoes, you can do um, cottage cheese, which I noticed in the north I can get cottage cheese. When I was back home in uh, New Jersey, I got cottage cheese, but not so much down in the south. So, uh, avocado slices, tomato slices, I said, and um, 
because these are all options. I have brought my own avocado in my purse before, and I keep a knife in there, a sharp knife, with a, a sheath on it. And I can uh, have avocado if you have places that don't have stuff like that. But seriously, if you get an omelet, a lot of times it's so filling, you don't even need to decide that much, really. Uh, but I've got some coffee here, and I brought my collagen, so I put it in a bigger cup. Half and half, not the best, but it's better than nothing. I, I never have heavy creams. But just to avoid, like this one has the international delights. Just avoid the flavor one. It's just the plain And we wait for a wonderful omelet. Oh my god, is that just absolutely awesome. A lobster and brie omelet. And some mixed fruit here. I actually bring a container with me if I bring leftovers. Especially, I know that is a lot of fruit, but it's so good. I will try to eat just to stop at half, but it's got blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries. But the star of the show is this wonderful omelet. And does that look like a sacrifice to you? Isn't this a wonderful way of eating? Well, that was just absolutely awesome. I did bring a little container with me, and I did save half of my fruit. I usually try to save half my omelet, but it is summer. <laughs> I did bring a cooler with me, but it is a, you know, lobster, and that might be a little stinky. <laughs> so I thought I would just finish it all here, and I'll bring the fruit home for tomorrow or the next day. And this was a special treat. I also have a cute little outdoor patio area and in Asheville, North Carolina we are very dog friendly so there's a dog out there right now they even keep a water bowl out even for people just walking by I mean for their dogs <laughs> okay it was a little loud in there and I didn't want to be too loud so a couple little points there one for the sides you can get obviously fresh fruit, you can get cottage cheese depending on where you're at, sliced tomatoes, sliced avocado, so there's some options for you. But I did want to mention one very important caveat. When getting omelets out, double check to make sure they're not using pancake batter in the omelet mix. Ask for fresh eggs because at, at IHOP they definitely do do that. So something to keep in mind if you are having omelets out you don't want pancake batter in there anyway this was an awesome breakfast and i'd say this was quite the treat well if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave me a comment tell me what you thought and consider subscribing until next time thanks for visiting kinda keto with donna bye